Hi friends, I have another story to share with you today. This story is called Emma's Land. The author is Kim Lewis, so she wrote the words. She's also the illustrator, so she also drew the pictures today. Here we go. These pictures right at the front give you a little bit of a clue maybe about what the story will be about. Emma's Land by Kim Lewis. One rainy spring morning at lambing time, Emma's father put a little lost lamb in a box by the stove. Then he went back to the field to look for lamb's mother. Where do you think they live? Looks like maybe they live on a farm, hey? Lamb and Emma looked at each other. Bah, said lamb, sitting up in his box. Emma wanted to keep little lamb and look after him all by herself. You see what she's got right here? And the crust of all around. So Emma dried lamb because he was very wet. She tried to keep him warm because he was very cold. And Emma fed lamb because he was very hungry. See any other little babies around here too? Oh, those little kitty cats. Or baby animals. When Lamb was dry and warm and fed, he and Emma played. Bah, said Lamb, getting into a mess. Looks like they've built a fort, and Lamb is all dressed up in clothes. The kittens are getting into the action as well. And looks like they might even be having a picnic. Well, I saw some of it, some of our friends in our class. Then Emma took a lamb, took lamb for a walk, and he skipped along behind her. Emma decided to play hide and seek. She closed her eyes and counted to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here I come! She cried. Can you see lamb? He's still looking. Emma looked for lamb in the stable. She looked for him in the barn. She looked for him in the granary, and she looked all around the yard. Oh boy, can you see him anywhere? Have to look really carefully. I can spy a little kitten here. The horse up at the top. There's some cows here, and another kitty cat here. I do not spy any lambs, do you? Oh, there's even another kitty cat in there as well. Still no lamb. Hmm. She couldn't find lamb in the house, and he wasn't in his box. She couldn't find him in the sheep pens either. I give up, she shouted. Oh boy, I wonder where he's gone. But lamb was nowhere to be found. Emma didn't want to play anymore. She wanted lamb to come back. She thought he might be cold and hungry. Where are you, lamb, she cried. Can you see on that page any sign? Hard to tell. I see some chickens. Some little kitty cats here and some kittens. There's a chicken back there. Meh! Came a sound from the hay shed. Emma ran inside to look. Lamb sat up in the nesting box where the hens had laid their eggs. Meh! He cried and he ran to Emma. There he is, look. He was staying nice and cozy, wasn't he? Lamb, I thought I'd lost you, said Emma, holding him very tight. She couldn't look after Lamb all by herself. He needed to be with his mother. But where was she? Do you see the sheep out in the field there? Hard to tell. But they're out in the field way back. I wonder if that's where his mom is. Then Emma saw her father across the field. A ewe without a lamb ran ahead of him, calling. Ma! cried Lamb. He wriggled to get free. Emma put him down, and Lamb ran as fast as he could to his mother. There she is. A ewe is a mommy sheep, right? A lamb is a baby sheep. And can you guys remember what a daddy sheep is called? A ram. That's what a daddy sheep is. 
and went to the field the very next day. When she called Lamb, came running to see her. Will you remember me, asked Emma. Lamb and Emma looked at each other. Ma, said Lamb, waggling his tail. I think he's going to remember her, don't you? And there is at the end again. You can see all the things they use. Look, there's a nice box of warm straw to keep Lamb cozy in a blanket. And there's the bottle of milk she was feeding him with. I wonder if any of you have ever fed a lamb with a bottle. It's very fun. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that story. That was a different kind of pet. Because really and truly, a lamb isn't a pet, right? He's a, a farm animal. There were lots of other pets you could see in the story, like the kitty cat. Emma was really hoping to keep him as her pet, wasn't she? All right, friends, well, I hope you enjoyed that story. And I'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye!